Everyone immediately recognizes the name Porsche as the manufacturer of fast luxury cars that never stop pushing the boundaries of performance. Yet how many people are aware that the company started off from a poor plumber son and how closely connected it is to Volkswagen? Now's your chance to find out. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this. While you're there, click the bell button to be alerted when we upload something new. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, a product designer, was born in Maffersdorf as the third of five kids. The town, now known as Bratislava, has become a part of Chechia as a result of the transfer of power after World War I. His father, Anton Porsche, was the modest owner of a modest plumbing workshop when he was born on September 3, 1875. Ferdinand was supposed to join his brothers in taking over the family business, as was common practice in German and Austrian society, but he had other preferences. At the age of 14, he was already going to experiment with electricity, which was very popular at the end of the 19th century. On the contrary hand, his father wasn't pleasantly surprised and didn't like it. Instead, he made a concerted effort to dissuade his son from having to engage in such foolishness. Ferdinand set up his own private workspace in his parents' house as a result, giving him freedom to experiment. Despite being compelled to serve a traineeship in plumbing, he attended the public trade school in Reichenberg. Because of his talent and technical knowledge, he was elevated from a simple electrician to the test center manager within a couple years. He developed an electric wheel hub motoring in 1897, the same year Ferdinand Porsche started working in the newly formed electric car department in Kukovbargen Fabrik Jakob Iona and Co. Vienna. The year 1897 was a turning point in Porsche's career because his efforts would eventually lead to the Iona Porsche. Porsche's wheel hub engine powered non transmission vehicle was lauded as a game changer at the Paris World Trade Fair. Porsche was more than just an engineer. He was also looking for novel and unexpected ways to test his car, which is why he decided on racing. Ferdinand Porsche also used racing to effectively test his inventions. He won the bubbling circuit outside Vienna in 1900, for instance, and he also drove for Archduke Franz Ferdinand's racing team in 1902. Ferdinand Porsche proceeded to compete and won the then popular Prince Heinrich race in 1910 while operating a Damler vehicle that he had also evolved. Ferdinand Porsche later joined Daimler in Novara Nostadas as technical manager. It was a yearly test over a large distances for touring cars with a different path each year. In that particular year, it covered a distance of 1,495 kilometers from Berlin to Bad Homburg, having to pass through Martinburg and brushing Castle Würzburg. The distinctive aerodynamic tulip-shaped car designed by Ferdinand Porsche was capable of reaching top speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour. The Sasha, a small four-cylinder racing car with a 1.1-liter displacement, managed to win first and second place in its group at the Tiger Florio event in Sicily on its opening in 1922, not long after he was named general manager of Austro Damler in 1917. An Italian publication named Gazzetta dello Sport remarked on its achievement by saying that until very recent times, no one would have thought it was possible to accomplish such maximum speeds and sturdiness with a four-cylinder motor that falls under the category of the smallest cars ever. This statement may have been influenced by Sasha's success. He was put to work immediately overseeing the development of the Mercedes compressor cars since this was the main Daimler subdivision in Germany. Mercedes-Benz compressor designs once again came to represent sportiness and racing success. In 1924, he drove it himself and became the first person to win the Targa Florio race. By the Stuttgart Institute of Technology, Ferdinand Porsche received the honorary degree of doctor. Ferdinand Porsche founded his own individual design studio on April 25, 1931. Porsche design, Dring HCF Porsche GmbH, was formally accepted in the trade register as Porsche design, Dring HCF Porsche GmbH, from effective and beating for overseeing and far God engineering and consultation on motors and vehicles. On August 10, 1931, the torsion bar suspension was granted a patent which, in the opinion of a well-known expert journalist, would have been sufficient to make Porsche a household name in the auto industry. For the new 750 kilo rules in 1932, the auto union later hired Porsche to build a 16-cylinder compressor Grand Prix racing car. With drivers like Hans Stuck and Bernd Rosemeyer, the auto union won 32 of the 64 races and broke numerous world records. Soon after, he turned to face Sasha again as he considered buying a small car. Daily Use he didn't want to just create a smaller saloon, he wanted to build a high-quality vehicle that could be utilized every day. 
At that point, Volkswagen unveiled the People's Car. The Volkswagen plant's foundation stone was set in 1938. Throughout this time, Ferdinand Porsche served as a general manager for Volkswagen GmbH. Production started just as the Second World War started. The Volkswagen II was utilized in the creation of the first all-terrain or aquatic vehicle, despite the fact that only a few examples for official use were made for the general public. It was acknowledged that the Volkswagen represented an accomplishment, as would shortly become evident to people all over the world. In 1940, Ferdinand Porsche received the honorable mention of Professor. During the war, the building office worked on tasks like the mouse heavy tank and a different Tiger tank design that was not used officially, additionally to wind turbines and the Volks Strata. The French captured Ferdinand Porsche at the end of 1945, and he spent the next 22 months in a number of jails. Despite the fact that there was no proof linking him to the war crimes committed during the Holocaust, he was targeted due to his indirect role in militarizing the German war industry all through the conflict, after which he was let go. Upon his return, he looked over the blueprints for the race car Castalia that his son had overseen the construction of. He allegedly said that he was pleased with the song he had written. To the last screw, I would have built it precisely the same, said Ferdinand. At the age of 75, Dr. Ferdinand Porsche passed away in Stuttgart from natural causes. Some people might be surprised to learn that Porsche as we know it today was founded after his passing, but in reality, Ferry Porsche and his sister Louise Pitcher, who married a top Volkswagen executive, constructed the very first Porsche-branded automobile. Early versions of the Porsche 356 were created in a tiny sawmill in Composite, Austria. The design was shown to German auto dealers, and then when pre-orders attained a certain threshold, the resurrected Porsche construction emblem started producing cars with an aluminum body. Since parts were hard to come by in post-World War II Germany, the 356 car, which used components from the Volkswagen Beetle, is widely recognized as the first Porsche, especially the transmission first from internal combustion motor and various suspension bushings. The 356, however, underwent numerous evolutionary phases while being in production. A, band C, with Porsche-made components, replacing most Volkswagen sourced ones. However, it was only considered a marginal success. The Porsche 911, which the company introduced in 1964, would become synonymous with Porsche as the top supplier of pure ride quality. Ferdinand Alexander Porsche's very experienced seniors led the group that designed the body shell after many models, such as the 550 Spider, that would gain fame as James Dean's car, achieve some respectable success in motor racing. It was a second rear-engined, air-cooled sports car similar to the 356 with a six-cylinder boxer engine. The 911's iconic status is understandable given its numerous victories in motorsports, but Ferry Porsche captured it best. Over time, the 911 did improve as a driving machine, ultimately sporting the Boxster and Cayman as deserving supporting models. In its recent history, Porsche has been taking on challenges head-on. Even as late as 2021, Porsche increased its deliveries across all of its international sales locations. The expansion of the U.S. was particularly notable, with 22 more automobiles shipped when compared to the previous year. Porsche delivered 84,657 cars to America, a 22% increase, and China remained the sports car company's largest single market with a solid performance in 2021, up 8 from a previously record-breaking year in 2020. In total, 70,025 customers in the U.S. bought a model from the wide line of products. Demand has increased in Germany as well, with 28,565 vehicles supplied, representing a 9% increase. 86,160 vehicles have been delivered to customers in Europe, which is 7% higher than in 2020. Porsche was among the few European achievement brands, demonstrating how deeply ingrained Ferdinand Porsche's commitment to using the best tools available still is. Not one to back down from a challenge, he vowed to create an event that could compete directly with Tesla Model S. This effort ultimately resulted in the Porsche Day, which featured a variety of classic 911 models, including the Cayman SUV, Panamera sedan, and the Vatican event. 70% of Porsches ever constructed are still on the road, demonstrating the close relationship Porsche owners develop with their cars. The company is still renowned for producing high-quality, high-performance designs that are loved by all. Ferdinand Porsche would be proud of how the company has grown, don't you think so? Leave your thoughts about this in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.